When the banking system crashed, one bank more than any other was at the centre of the storm. The Royal Bank of Scotland was bust, its chief executive Fred Goodwin disgraced. Billions of pounds of taxpayers' money was needed to save it. The chief executive today had to announce a big loss for last year and he suspended two employees for allegedly rigging the foreign exchange market. So, can the taxpayer be confident that everything at RBS is now above board and clean? Look, one thing that the taxpayer can be confident is that we will take absolute action when we find behaviour that is totally unacceptable. Uh, foreign exchange, yes, we did have to suspend a further two. We've got a full investigation going on. We have dismissed three uh, of our, our team in that area for just behaviour that was totally unacceptable. And the public should expect us to take these actions when we see this. Allegations of massive tax avoidance at HSBC have added another dimension to the image of banks behaving badly. Does that image damage his business? Yes, it does. I mean, we are part of that industry and we're, you know, we've been there uh, with numbers of these issues. So uh, we've just got, got to make sure that we can rebuild the trust with our customers. And the industry is trying to rebuild itself, but it will take some time. Ross McEwen has waived what's called a share allowance of a million pounds, but RBS will pay more than 400 million in bonuses, despite making that loss. So how does that help build trust? Look, I, I accept that with, uh, with remuneration and bonuses, uh, the public are, are angry about why would we be paying bonuses when we're still losing money. But in your own case, and the idea of an allowance, it looks like just an attempt to get around the European rules. And, and in my case, I said, look, I just don't want any distractions around this thing. We've got a big job to rebuild this bank for our people, for our customers, and to get the money back. Let's get rid of the distractions. This bank is slowly turning around, but we still have no date for when we'll get our money back. Andy Bell, 5 News.